Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Askins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Um, before I get a bunch of comments down below, my video webcam is off. Uh, first off, it's been kind of acting funny, and second of all, I didn't do my hair today, so I don't want you guys to laugh at my fluffiness. So, um, <laughs> what are we doing today? I am playing some Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2, and we're just kind of, kind of going to hang out for a little bit inside here um it looks like my microphone is blasting again oh my goodness why is the microphone blasting there we go testing one two that is so weird okay anyhow um i figured what i would do is basically just come in and like give away a bunch of uh pink cars and and maybe even like start making the um pink truck <gasps> generator maybe possibly I need to see who this is. Who are you? Salty bagels? Is this is this your is this your base? Uh yeah, this is this is your base. So congratulations, salty bagels. This is yours. So I'm going to menu whitelist salty bagels. Done. Right there. Right. Salty bagels. There we go. And then I'm going to do uh send money one dollar to salty bagels. Transfer. Transfer into dollar. Success. Menu. Uh, whitelist. Remove salty bagels. Done. And this now should be his. Oh yeah, that's his. Ooh, good job, buddy. That is all yours. <clears throat> now the the bad thing is if I try and regenerate this uh, this over here, it will create um, a new one of those, and his truck will disappear. So we need to dislodge or unload this one and um, we'll go to a regular load. Let's see. Um, let's see what's in slot four. I think slot four was the base that got like deleted, but we got it back. And that's the that's the starter one that we were going to do, I think. Maybe. I haven't built on it in so long. Um, for a lot of you, you watch my Lumber Tech Into videos and basically I just play around now. Like I've discovered and looked at everything and I don't think I've ever gone through and just shown all the stuff that I know. So, I mean, I can grab a car and we can go, we can go play around. I, I can like show you around the place. <clears throat> oh no, this is, this is the, uh, Yellowwood Bridge, which it's, it's on the wrong slot right now. So, I'd have to be on that slot over there. But, that's fine. That's fine. We can load this one. It's fine. Nice. Nice. There we go. The teleport thing kind of freaks me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It's just a little bit funny this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. No, it's not much, but it's the best I can do. <clears throat> okay, uh, so first off, the main area that most people start out in is this area over here where you're chopping wood and you're going along. Wait, do I have an ax on me? Hold up. I do. Twitter X. Okay. Is right over here. Do, 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 do. Zoop, pow, pow. So you first spawn in and you get the little menu that says, Welcome, you need to chop some wood and stuff. And then you come over here and you start looking around and you realize that you can talk to Tom. Hi, Tom. Hello, sir. How are you? And then your first axe is this basic hatchet right here. And that's when you grab it and you come over here and you're like, Boom, Tom, I would need to buy that one. But sir, you've already got, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm giving an example, not uh, actually purchasing, okay? Just pretend. Oh, very well, sir. I, I will pretend sell it to you. Oh, good, thank you. So here's my pretend 20, wait, how much is it? Hold on, Tom, how much, how much is this? No, 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 I don't want to, 12? Oh, 12. Here's my pretend $12. And then you pretend, grab it, boom, like that. Thanks, Tom. You did great. You're welcome, sir. So then you come over here, 
and like your first reaction is like oh my goodness it's so pretty i loved it and you're like quack 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 and that's when you realize that um that hatchet really doesn't have that far of a reach and you have to like stand like right on top of it like this that or you're in third person still because you're new to roblox and you're like a boom a boom and then you're like oh my goodness the animations are amazing like that and then after after struggling with the controls for a little bit you finally figured out like oh i can pick up the tree like this and then that's when you read the little sign that says wood sail this way and then you're walking over here and then you're like oh my goodness like this guy see hello yes sir you, know, you drop it down and you're like oh my goodness i gotta have the basic hatchet like this boom and i gotta learn chop 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 like that and then you're like oh and then i can drop it in there and then that's when you get your first money and the first ding the first ding like that and that ding is what catches you you're like oh my gosh i just got some money for that and then it it drives you from there that first ding is what causes the rest of this world to just fall into place you're like i love this game so much best game ever from that point forward and that's why we love lumber tycoon 2 right there the ding ding <laughs> oh my goodness even even my intro is awesome at it dude yes sir i'm sorry i didn't mean to make fun i, w I was not making fun here i'll go ahead and sell these off for you i mean it's gonna go into my money but mm, waste not what not and then that's also when you figure out you're like oh my goodness this is a bigger tree i could get some more money and whack and it does does like this nothingness hit and you're like that would take forever and then that's when you realize that you gotta purchase bigger axes boom and then you come over here and you're like how much is this one 90 oh what about that one 190 it's like 100 more than that one anyhow that's the that's the basic premise behind uh everything here and then people start looking up towards the mountains and then you start figuring out like oh there's a, a bridge over here but it costs a whole bunch of money to get across okay who made the digital clock you really did didn't you oh my gosh i wonder if he used my um my um binary to what's it hello hi experienced noob experienced noob that's an oxymoron who is this yeah that's you buddy hey code hi code hi i'm i'm looking and it's a little off looks like you got a number that's missing currently says 3 p.m i think which, uh, the sun is over there. So, I mean, that's that's not too far off. Because then four would be right there. Five, six would be down here. So, and it's close. Hi, Piggy. Night, Tristan. How are you? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Hi. I like your clock. I was I was gonna do something kind of like that, but only mine's gonna be analog. I didn't want to have to do all the logic behind it because doing logic on a video takes a lot of time. I like your auto dropper here too. Just back your truck up. Hold on, can I can I back my truck up? Will that work? Hold on. Like you back your truck up like that. And then you just respawn the truck, all the wood falls out, and off you go. I like it. It's an auto spawner. Is this your logo? Experienced noob? Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, oh. He's going that way. And then spawn. 
Yeah, see? See, I knew it. I knew it. I should go play on uh, on Samper Life. Show you that thing. Because I had an auto dumper where you'd back up and it would it would take your whole truck and flip it. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, nice. So you turn on which path you want to want it to go to, and it's binary patterns. Or maybe it's just one. Is it just one? Yeah, it just turns one on. But it turns it on to the correct one. Aha! Nice. So yours is not an auto sorter. It is a sorter depending on the type the type of wood you are collecting. Very nice, bro. I like it. I like it very much. I was not planning on doing a base tour, but this guy's got some some build behind him. Look at this. Brilliant. Oh, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Gotta get there. Gotta go faster, faster, faster. We. Oh, he's got encased pink trucks. Very nice music. It's a duck on a toilet. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, move for hunger. Dude, nice. And by the way, that, that link is, uh, oh gosh, I don't think it's going to be on this video, but Move for Hunger is still going on until Friday. So be sure to um, find that video or that live stream that I did and hit that link and help donate to them. It's a good cause. Abstract art. Pink. Pink square. <laughs> He says, I've been working on the digital clock. I see that, dude. You have some massive programming going on here. Let's see, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yep, so he's got, he's got a 24 hour clock going on and I think isn't this the huh I'm not quite sure how this is set up aha aha I found it oh my gosh <laughs> Wow. That is some logic right there. <laughs> Hold on. Did it just turn? Yep. He's got he's got a, a short somewhere, but it's pretty complicated. I would say so, dude. <laughs> I, uh... I thought it was complicated whenever I made my simple like binary to uh, binary to digital display. But you you take the cake. That's that's a winner right there. Good job. Well well done. <sighs> I'd personally say disagreeing with you that the analog clock would probably be I'd personally wait, what? It's complicated. I'd personally say, disagreeing with you, that an analog clock would probably be easier. <laughs> How did you know what I was talking about? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, for those of you that just came into the video and you didn't actually listen to the very beginning, I got my face cam off because I don't have any hair gel in and I'm not going to do any because I mean, we're way too close to bedtime anyway. So, um, and because I've had some problems with my, my, uh, camera today. So probably just need to restart my computer, but I don't want to, uh, get into it. So, yay. I like, I like the, the complicated builds. They're fun. And I, I see the sorter. It's cool. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Are you recording? I am recording. And I, I said I was going to go up to the volcano. Let's go. Let's go up to the volcano. Let's do it. <clears throat> There's something I kind of wanted to do, and I haven't done it in a while. And that's driving off the cliff edges to try and uh, get over to gold. To the goldwood. Dang, kind of late, isn't it? Lol. I told you. I told you it's late. <laughs> that's why. I, that's why I don't have my uh, my face cam on. It's because it's way too late for me to do my hair. And like, I'm, I'm not gonna put in hair gel just for. Well, I mean, I could. And I've done it before, but. I don't want to waste the hair gel just to have like a, a 30 minute recording, you know? I usually have my hair gel in all day long, but today was different. And today I, I went fluffy. So all day my hair's been fluffy. And I might do a fluffy hair reveal at the end. Who knows? We'll see. Code, I, uh, I know you're recording, but would you mind signing my base? After you're done, I will absolutely sign your base once we're done. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Come on, turn. Nice. Oh, do you mind? No, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. <laughs> it's my face. Okay, so up here at the top, this is this is where the um, lava wood is, which is the the fastest way to get money. I'm not gonna say it's the most expensive tree because that's not true. But when it comes to like making money, if you just come up here and you grind these trees, toss them off, put them put them in your truck down there, and then go sell them off, that's the fastest way to make money. It really is. Money per capita. Whoa. Okay, that was skills right there. That was pure skills. Do you guys see that? That was amazing. By the way, all these little white dots down there, those are all glass. Yeah. Come on. Boom, boom. Uh-oh. All right, just go. Just go. Just go. Just speed run it. Speed run it, code. Speed run. Nice. Now I probably should not have placed it right there, but okay. Let's see if we can get up there. Um, one of the cool little tricks about the um, blueprints is any object that can be moved or altered can like that. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, 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 go, 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 go. Skills. Uh, can I do a rotate, rotate? Nice. <laughs> Hopefully I'm still the closest avatar when I get it over there. All right. Ooh, oof. Come on. There we go. Go down, bro. Go. Make it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Skills! Skills! Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, this is too fun. Hopefully this is actually happening. Can I can I push this? I cannot push this. There's no way to push that. But if we go 
Rotate, rotate, rotate. Rotate, like that. Does that work? I don't know if anybody else can see this because it, this could just be local to my, my client. Hold on, hold on, chop, chop time. <laughs> I promise I'm not hacking and I'm not exploiting. Well, I, I guess technically this would be figuring out stuff. Anyhow. Hi, Plug Lee or Plug Brooks. What's going on, bro? All right, let's do a tiny floor and go rotate, rotate. Boom. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if it all of a sudden just appears. <laughs> He's like, what the heck? Who has a clock and it works? <laughs> I'm trying to sell off the bridge. How much can you sell the bridge for? I don't know. I've never tried selling it before. We're going to we're going to sell it today though. Hold on. <laughs> Get in there. Let's go sell off the bridge. Oh my gosh. Wait. Here we go. Screenshot right there. Print screen. How much does the rock bridge sell for? <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to need to, let's see here. I think we need to do a rotate turn. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where am I? What in the world? What? Okay, how did that happen? <laughs> I am in a secret location hidden underneath the, oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't that secret. Ask Tom. I wonder, does, does anybody else see this? Anybody else see? Does it be? Plug. Do you see this? Just curious. Yep. Okay. Go. Cool. <laughs> Let's go. Rotate, rotate. <laughs> oh gosh. Ah. Ah. No, we've we've lost ownership of it because there's too many people near it now. So network ownership is lost. Dang it. Maybe if I get closer to it, maybe, maybe. If I get closer to the center of it, does it keep me? No. Oh well. I won't be able to sell it off today, but I think I will go sign some bases and I'll hang out and have some fun. Uh, like I said, I wasn't really planning on like a big video for today, so just trying trying to play with the the rock bridge and, and hanging out is, that's more than enough. I had fun. Touch, touch. Nope. Hold on. Can I 
do this. Can I turn it here? And then jump on top? Oh! Oh, oh. Huh. Turn, turn. Turn, turn. Woo! Nope. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> ah! Oh! I gained ownership back of it! Nice! <laughs> did he blueprint glitch the wall down here? I sure did. And it was fun. <laughs> oh, this is too fun. <laughs> oh gosh. I just want to sell off the bridge, please. <laughs> oh, you got too close to the center. You got too close to the center. You took ownership. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's good. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, as I play around with the blueprints and hanging out, and hopefully that didn't, you know, cause too much harm to anyone. I didn't want to glitch out anybody's base. That would have been horrible. But, love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Oh, wait. Hold on. Get these guys. Selfie. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Outro. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We, we, I gotta wait for plug books. There you go. There you go, buddy. There you go. <laughs> nice. Outro.